both of these teams are whole again with injured players returning. Hunter Couture, the key guard for the Hokies. And here comes Sean Padula on some kind of heater. Has the season scoring average up over 16 per game. Drive and dish to the corner. MJ Collins for three. You've got to run Virginia off the three-point line because at times they can be offensively challenged. Look for Virginia Tech to really extend on him. And that's where he did it again. For the Hokies with Couture in the backcourt with Collins and Padula. Robbie Barron and the vastly improved Lynn Kidd inside. Well, that is what number zero is Reese Beekman, the reigning ACC Defensive Player of the Year, averaging nearly 13 points, a league-leading six assists per game, and the Hoosier back within two. Rohde to Beekman, tries to drive baseline, Collins cuts him off. Shot clock under 10, back to Beekman, finds Miner, strong to the rim, his second dunk of the night. Trying to find Couture. Rohde staying right with him to the baseline. Quarter three. Nothing but net for the red hot Sean Padula. Shot clock down to 10. Rohde off the curl. Minor hands to Beekman. Open from three. Got it. He's the most outstanding player in the Big East tournament two years ago. Three years ago. Here he is defending Padula on the block. Got a piece. Out of bounds. Harris, kicks to the corner, Jake Groves puts it up, and in. They don't turn it over and they don't take bad shots, so you have to play against their set defense. And if you play against their set def defense, they're going to take away straight line drives and they're going to take away post ups. Long with the layup. A mismatch right there. Good job of scrambling out of it by Virginia Tech. Eight to shoot. Beekman pulls the trigger. Step side, knock down at three. This is just hand down, man down. Good rhythm. The hard McNeely works without the basketball. Who does he remind you of with the way he plays? McNeely? Yeah. A poor man's Joe Harris. <laughs> Because they do know how to play. They do embrace roles. They do know how to use screens. They do know how to defend. Uh, to me, the most underappreciated move. And fouled by Barron, the Hoos. In control as McNeely starting to heat up. You're a JPJ. Ideally, you'd like to play ahead of this defense. Great help. Padula with the great dump off for the layup by Robbie Barron. Beekman looking to take advantage of Padula inside. Steps through and kisses it home. Down the lane. Finds Couture for the open three. And that is a tremendous way to close out the half for Virginia Tech. Having said that, they just to kick the field goal at the end of the half. And now started with the ball in the first possession. A bucket here would be huge. There it is on Hugh Barron on the kick out. Ball comes out. Maybe you get some step in threes. But, you know, the analogy... Of great job of, of Beekman getting in the lane and using the size with a high release. And that's one of those shots. I'm not sure that Mike Young wants to move the defense a little bit more than that. Yet he's played so well. Great cut. Once again, curl cut off the back. Poti trying to get rid of the ball. Here's Padula on the switch. He lost it. Numbers for Virginia. Beekman to the rim and done. Hammers it home. Active and alert defensively, throw it ahead. Go get it, big fella! You know, he has not gotten any sort of extended minutes for a variety of reasons, but the last couple of games, when given the opportunity, now he seems to be able to contribute as Poteet lays it in. A couple of assists, didn't turn it over, and that allows for Beekman to be Beekman. Dunn misses the layup. You know what I mean? So now you've got Miner coming off the bench two more. That extends the rotation for Tony Bennett. And Jordan has always had the support of his parents, his mom, Couture, his dad, Charles, who attended almost every one of his games. But for him, it seems to be coming together now a couple of months in. It's an inexact science for sure. Like I, I, I put transfers in two categories. Like, to me, there's no difference, Jordan Meyer, between him and a one-and-done. Because that's what he is. He's a one-and-done. Uh, a plug in and play, hopefully. Then Purdue knocks down that jump. Just got let go at the University of Pittsburgh. 
And from that year, from 83, 84 to basically the rest of my adult life, I never made a major decision without consulting with Coach Holland. The number of lives he's changed, what he did in terms of his relationship with Ralph Sampson, what he did in terms of helping get this building built when he was the athletics director at Virginia. A proper tribute to a, a, a great man. Harris off the bounce. He continues to contribute in different ways in his first game back after missing 10. The Hokies have been playing from behind, but they've been able to hang in there, down by as many as 13. That cuts it to six. First three points for the young man from nearby Harrisonburg, Virginia. McNeely tries to answer and does. Although that's a two and will be reviewed at the next stoppage. Numbers if Virginia hurries. And there you go. It developed slowly, but Miner came free underneath. And Dante Harris found it. Just his ball screen. A little back trouble here just to freeze the defense, create some space. Give Harrison has been really solid. Here's the big, big double again. A season high now for Miner with the 10 points. First bucket of the night. Miner defensively on and off the ball has been very good. And this is where he's been really good off that pocket pass. Well, he's got a physicality that nobody else on the Virginia roster has, Seth. Collins finds the open man in the corner. Robbie Barron for three. Beekman's pass knocked away. Here comes Hunter Couture. At the flex, it's right in, in the gap. Pushes it up. Shoto hops. Here he comes again. Beekman all over him. Just a pest. But Couture is undeterred. And this is lone season with the Cavaliers. He comes up. Screen rejected. Harris a bolt to the bucket. Couture and a throwback to give Nickel a pretty good look. Buchanan's back in. Gets the feed after the screen. And he's able to finish. The freshman. Four steals, four assists. Just doing what he does. Padula on the... Coming out of the timeout, they get a good shot almost every time. Uh, you know, Couture and Padula are going to continue to grind away. They've got to find a way to get some clean stops. They're still right in this basketball game. Good pass again. Buchanan attacks. How about the production out of the five spot for Virginia tonight? 22 combined points between Miner and Buchanan. Padula drains the three. Same thing. Buchanan off a beautiful feed from Dante Harris. I watched a lot of tape on Virginia before this game. Great hands right there. You don't recognize it. Here's Robbie Barron. Their best, their best execution all season long. Terrific. Watch Ado Collins. Inside hand down. Really good rip. Nickel picks it up. Barron with the finish. Crowd appreciates the pressure broken. McNeely to Beekman. Lob it up to the rim. And it back in. Trying for an assist. But you give two points to Reese Beekman. He has played tonight, Seth, as though he has no limitations. Padula creates space and hits the three. It's a five-point game. I didn't see it. I was kind of blocked. That watch is right on. That's a that's, that's clear. That's a foul. It is so what they were doing with him. But I'm not even sure he saw this, although he did say they had really good practice. Great play. Off the done block. Here comes Rody giving it to Dunn. Couture, the quick answer at the other end, 28 seconds on the clock.